Yo, what's up guys, your boy Darks again, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some dope anime icons with your widgets on your iPhone today, and uh, let's have some fun. But before we get started guys, make sure you stab that like button, stab that subscribe button if this video helps you at all, help your boy reach 3K, but other than that, let's get it. Hey, show y'all how to make some dope anime themes for your phone just like this with the widgets and icons so it's gonna be easy and quick um, I'm gonna say make sure you do the icons first to make this much faster for you guys because literally it, it took me a long time to do all this but I did this my demon slayer I did uh, Akatsuki I really messed with the Akatsuki so much and uh you know i play a lot of gundam also so hey let's go ahead and get started so the thing the first thing you want to do literally literally make sure you get all your images first so oh i love oh ooh, that back just you know give your give your phone a nice tap and a screenshot for you but hey now that i took that screenshot you want to go to your photos and you click on this, right? You're like, bro, why you take a snapshot? Don't worry about this, bro. I got you. Go to edit. You're gonna kick kick this uh, icon on the bottom here. Next thing you wanna do is literally drag it till you get that icon you want. And I, like I said, you guys, to save you some time, I would literally just get all your icons just like this you're gonna get your icon just like this don't worry about the sides i'm gonna show you how to crisp that crisp that up later on all right so now that we got that now that you got all your images say you got all your images that you want to do all right now this is where you're going to put you know your anime characters or whatever you want to do in on your phone basically so download pix art Make sure you guys download PixArt in the app store. And there's this app right here. Once you get into the app now, you wanna hit the plus sign here. And then you wanna add all your photos that you took images of, just like the PixArt one. Um, which one did we do? Oh, I guess I didn't add it. But we could do another PixArt. Say we got the PixArt here. Now, once you get to this part, you see the stickers on the bottom right corner. You want to hit stickers, go to search, type in whatever you want to do, like Akatsuki or anything that you're looking up for, for your theme or whatever, and just grab you a sticker, man. Grab you a sticker, slap it on there, just like this, or however you want to put it on there. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Oh, just like that. Save the image. Then it's saved to your phone. All right, next thing you wanna do is download Prequel here. I am gonna put all the apps that I have in the description so you can download them yourself. But go into this app. What you're gonna do, that image that you worked on, you wanna go ahead and click on that image, right? And this is where you can refine it. You can refine it much better, just like that and fix it up really nice. Also, you can put effects and uh, filters. I really like uh, the switch filter because it changes the color and everything. It's really dope. And then once you're done with your icon, making it the way you wanna, want it to look, go ahead and save it. And it's saved now, right? Now it's saved. Now you have all that done. The next thing you wanna do is go to shortcut you're gonna to go to your shortcut. You're gonna click on the switch, the add button on the top right corner. You're gonna hit add action. And then on the, on the search bar, you wanna to go to open app. I said po. <laughs> open app. And then pick that open app icon. Now you wanna choose 
what you made a icon for so just like uh crunchy roll we'll put crunchy roll or uh we did make a pixar one so pixar make a pixar one then you want to hit the three icons on the top you're gonna put pixar here then you're going to click on add to home screen then you're going to click on the little image on the home screen name and icon choose photo so this is where you made all your photos right click on your photo you can also edit here also to make it like nice and neat and voila and then make sure you change this too i don't know why they say uh change both of the um the names right there pixar and then add and you're done but we already got pixar but we ain't gonna worry about that so now you have a pixar and when you hit it it does go into your shortcuts and then go into the app so sometimes it can be delayed sometimes all right but that is how you do the apps and i hope that helped you guys right there now i'm gonna show you guys how to do the widgets download color widgets download widget uh smith and i'm gonna show you guys these right now so the next thing is the color widget here i like this one uh because it'll put like the date and stuff on it so you'll click on whatever you're trying to make here you can put the background as light colored or dark um i like red and then pick your font you want to put in there and then go to the add photos. This one is really simple and easy. Uh, let's see, demon getting his chop head chopped off. Yeet. And then you go down to the bottom, add it as a such as a new one, and then back out. Now this is how you add your widgets in here. Is you're gonna hold on your phone here. You're gonna click the plus sign at the top. You're gonna put in your color widget. Click on that and then add widget and it's probably like your first one or so but if you're trying to put your other images go ahead and click on that go to edit widget and then it should have all the ones you made and pick that one and it'll come out just like this right now uh what i like about uh widgets um widget smith right you click on this one this one lets you add a bunch and uh it just won't let you put the time and stuff with an image like I did with this one. That's why I like uh, color widget. Now widget Smith, this one, like I said, this one will let you put in, add your widget, go to default, and it'll just have a variety of stuff that you can do with your widget if you get, you know, get very creative, you know, and uh, go from there. But I usually using it just for the image, right? And then you add your photo. It's pretty simple as the other one. We'll just, let's see. Yeah, let's use this one. Take it out and save. It's more for photos. I know there's one uh, widget for photos that uh, flip and switch between the things you want. And I, that's what I like about Widget Smith also. And then, you know, from there, you guys can make what you, what you want your phone to look like. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions at all, uh, anything I can help you with, or, you know, I'm going to put everything in the descriptions if you guys get confused at all or anything, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you stab that like button, stab that subscribe button, and let me know what kind of theme you guys did, man. I'm curious. I've been seeing a lot of themes out there, and I'll just be like, man, that's dope. But, hey, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.